Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeremiah J. Man Monero with J. Man Seminars, and here representing G R A R. That's the Greater Rochester Association of Realtors Techno Palooza Committee. We're talking about TKP seventeen today. All things that are awesome. Our special guest of the day is Jennifer Bousset from the Greater Capital Association of Realtors. Or Greater Boos. Did I say it right? Boos. I'm just going to call you Jen Boo. Jen Boo sounds pretty cool too. All right, so for those of you who haven't been to TKP yet, let me talk a little bit about our format. This year, it's going to be 25 sessions. So we're going to have five concurrent sessions, which means five sessions going on at the same time over a five-hour period with lunch in the middle. So Jennifer's going to be one of our featured presenters of the day, and she's going to be talking about all kinds of things LinkedIn-related. But first, Jennifer, introduce yourself. Who are you? You know, what you do, what you – all that good stuff. Hi, I'm Jen Vucetic. I live in the Capital Region, and I work in the real estate industry every single day. I list and sell homes. I love my job, and I think you really do have to love real estate to be in it. And, you know, you can get beaten down in different markets, and you really have to have a love and a passion to do what we do every day. So, Jen, not that you, loving real estate wasn't, wasn't enough for you. Is, is there anything else that you do extracurricular related to real estate that really takes up a lot of time? Well, I'm kind of a nerd, um, and I really love social media and technology. I'm not as big of a nerd as you are, but maybe someday I will be. Nerds, <laughs> and, are, cool. Nerds are cool. So it kind of was a, a very good good marrying of the two because it allowed me to become uh, more proficient in my industry because my love of social media and tinkering around on my phone and playing with different apps and you know I'm one of those people who gets you know the daily app and I go through them and I try them and you know I've spent a lot of money on some programs uh, that didn't necessarily work for me. And I definitely take advantage of the free stuff because it's free. And if it's free, it's for me. So I definitely play around. I, I think you have to get over that fear of, you know, playing around with it. So once you play around with it, you find out, yeah, this is a great fit or eh, not so much. So I think what I'm hearing you say is that you're an app Alcoholic, is that right? <laughs> Pretty accurate. So, what I was referring to now, the council, you're on a council of some sort that involves women. Maybe you could talk a little bit about that yeah. kind of an important person. So, when I first uh, was licensed in real estate, I was voluntold that you will go to this meeting. And lo and behold, I became a sponsor and affiliate co chair. And uh, from there, I got on the executive board. I served as the Capital Region um, President of Women's Council. And then from there, I moved up to the state level. I'm currently the New York State. Association uh, of Women's Council of Realtors president. Uh, next year, I will be RVP for Region 6, which includes Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York. So I'm very, very excited about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, Women's Council is just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for men and women to get free education, resources, and uh, it, there's just so much knowledge with um, members who are involved who have been in the business, you know, up to, you know, 30 plus years. So it's just a real wonderful uh, resource for people who are new in the business, people who are in the business and, you know, you get beaten down a little bit and it's nice to have people who do the same thing every day to commiserate with. It was a wonderful experience for me because I could get into a room of 10 people and talk your ear off. And if it was, you know, a room full of people I didn't know, I would start getting, you know, the heartbeat in the throat and uh, now I've spoken in rooms in front of 500 people, which if you told me that seven years ago, I would have been like, 
Uh, yeah, no, no. But uh, it's the 12th largest women's organization in North America. It does have a lot of power behind it. We are recognized by NAR, and it's known as the training ground for future leadership. So we are not worthy. We are, <laughs> but we are. We are thankful that you're you're taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you're a lot like me. We're over scheduled, and, and you're taking the time to do this interview plus doing TKP. But for all the Women's Council of Realtor members out there. You need to get to TKP. Anybody from across the state can come. It's not just Greater Rochester Association of Realtor Members. Anybody from across the state is welcome to come to the event. Uh, Jen, could you tell us a little bit? You're going to be doing some LinkedIn, like a beginner's one and maybe one more advanced, I believe. Tell us a little bit about LinkedIn. Why should it? What's good about it? So LinkedIn is, I think, one of the most underutilized uh social media platforms and I started looking into it I was actually in an airport coming home from I think it was DC grabbed a book because I always have to have something to read and it was uh on LinkedIn and I started reading the book and I was like wow who knew that there was this much power um the average person on LinkedIn is the major decision maker um, they make 125 plus a year. So it definitely is people who are buying and selling homes. Um, there's just such a huge uh, opportunity there that I felt was lacking. And the more I read, I devoured this book. I highlighted it. I dog-eared the pages. And then uh, I teach some classes for my office and we have people in my office who have been the majority have been in the business over 30 years. Um, they're probably not on Facebook, so I can say this. They're not very tech savvy <laughs> and I do try to help them. So I developed a, a four part series on LinkedIn and we just started right from the basics. What's your profile look like? The biggest thing that in all the books that I've read on LinkedIn is an accurate, updated picture. And one of the biggest things about that picture is, yeah, you can have a, a picture on your business card from, you know, 10 years ago, the glamour shot, whatever it may be. However, when people are looking at you on LinkedIn and then they come to meet you face to face and you don't look like that people person that they were looking at on LinkedIn, there's a certain level of distrust. And if they don't trust you from the get-go, it's very hard to have a genuine relationship with them. And do you think they're going to call you to sell their home if they have that level of distrust? And it's something that simple. Like, show the wrinkles, show the gray hair, you know, show what you really look like because they'll appreciate you more for that. And once again, LinkedIn is wonderful because they have um, a lot of uh, safeguards in place where you do not talk about religion, politics, anything that is not work related. So it's kind of like a safety zone. Um, I know a lot of us got beat up last year on social media and, you know, how to take a time out from Facebook or from, you know, I tended to go much more over to uh, Instagram because it was just a much more happy place. However, LinkedIn always is about business. You're not going to get all that background noise. It's just truly about um, having professional relationships. So what's the message for the people like so like you said, there's somebody who's been in the, in the business 30 years. They hear about this social media. They're like, ah, man, there's so many options. Where do I start? Are you going to be able to just give them like basic, like step one, create a login and password or, you know, what's, what's, so what's the, 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 the way you go? I am going to set them up. And uh, the first class is, is going to be called linked in and linked up the second class wow. is going to get into the you know the real intricate part of linkedin and that is going to be called uh linkedin down and dirty so if you 
even are on LinkedIn, I think you would benefit from coming to the first class because I'm going to show you how to really uh, beef your profile up. You know, you're going to want just a couple quick, easy tips that you can do that'll really um, perfect your profile. And it will really optimize your profile and get you the most views. Because what we like to call in LinkedIn terms, you've got a 10 second bumper sticker. And that's when your profile comes up. And that's that 10 seconds that people have to decide whether you're someone that they're interested in or not. And if you're just saying, I'm a real estate agent, you're going to get skipped over. I'm going to give you some things that you can put on there that they're going to know you're in real estate but you're not just the real estate agent. So then the second class is where we're going to really deep dive. I'm going to give you a six week guide, what to do the first week, what to do the second week, the third week, et cetera, et cetera. And it's really going to give you a broken down, easy guide that if you just take one hour every week, it'll get you where you need to be with LinkedIn and you'll see results. And it's just easy. You don't have to spend, you know, hours and hours a week on it. You get on there Monday morning, you make your posts, you greet your people, you, you know, do a few things, you'll get there really quickly. So I really like that you're doing a step by step process, because so often it's like, where do I begin? And once I begin, what, what do I do next? It's, it's easy when you're there and they can hear you talking about it. But then after you leave, it's like, ah, what do I do now? So that's a really great approach. Is, is there anything you want to say in closing? Any, any, any message out there for the folks besides go out and get some tickets? So I would just encourage everyone to come to Technoplu as I had the privilege of being there. I think it was two years ago and it was, it was just a wonderfully uh, put on event. I'm very envious. I wish we had it here in the capital region. Uh, maybe we could get you guys to come out here and do it for us. But yeah, I, I just love it. Um, this speaks to me and I'm very excited to be there. So in my first class, I will have a, um, a worksheet, a couple pages long. So if you miss the first one, you'll still have the takeaway. Um, but make sure to come to the second one. I think uh, I have it broken down so easily that it, even if you are doing something, I can give you a tip on how to optimize what you're already doing to make it worth it. Awesome. So you heard it here first, right from the president's desk. Okay. The president of WCR for the entire New York state, right. And future region, you, you have to rewind and see the, I don't, I don't, I can't name all the reasons she said, but all the women's council of realtor members, please come. We welcome you from across the planet and all of our GRAR members. You can do nine, two, five thousand. That's five, eight, five, two, nine, two, five thousand. We have operators standing by. Okay, or you can go to grar.org. So in closing, just want to thank you, Jennifer, for being our guest today. You're awesome, and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Bye.